So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to remove fungus out of this lens. We're talking about a Nikkor 20mm 2.8D that you have here. I bought it really really cheap and then the problem it has is that it has some fungus. Well, the front lens is also scratched but then this is one of the reasons I also got it really really cheap. So what we're going to do is to open the lens. We're going to remove the optics. So you see how that is done we have um, fungus here on the center near the diaphragm i'm going to show you how to get to that and then i'm going to show you how to remove also the back optics in case you have something also on the back so to start the disassembly it is extremely simple so we need to remove this ring here in plastic so i take my rubber cone that you find also on the video description and then here you force just a bit takes a few turns and then here you go we have removed the ring that was very 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 easy now there is three screws that we're going to remove you have it here you see simply a ring doesn't do much for the lens and then we remove it all these just for the purpose of gaining access to have enough grip to turn this guy and then to unscrew it and then here you go we have removed just the front simply by unscrewing it so and then this is the part where i have the fungus that you can see here so it's quite a big fungus so we're going to take care of that but then in the meantime i'm going to explain you how to remove the rest of things so you have still one lens here on the bottom in this case is clean but then you can simply come here with the spanner key or in my case I use a compass and then okay, just show you that okay, you see I take the spanner and then you can simply rotate to remove it in this case it is clean so we are not going to bother with that but then you know it can be easily accessed and then the diaphragm is just behind that and then here on the back I show you that for the purpose of cleaning so we want to remove this guy and then there is two openings here so one here and here that's for a spanner but then it doesn't fit as you can see here it's very tricky to fit it so what we do and then this is very very simple to do we're just going to remove the three screws that are here and then with the three screws gone we can simply pull this element you can also take the bayonet out but then you will have to do some work because you will need to get these screws out disconnect this guy it's a lot of work whereas if you do simply this you can have your spanner or your compass fitting and then you put just a bit of force and then there you go you have reached and removed the other element and then here on this side we have access to the lens which we haven't removed which is here from both sides so in case you have fungus there you can also remove it and clean it and then if you want to remove the diaphragm obviously there is a lot more work to do but then i'm going to make a video also showing how to disassemble entirely this guy 
Okay, so see there is some dust there. I just don't want to go away, so we need to be clean. But then here, here you have, and then this lens I have seen it a few times as well has also some haze. That means one of um, yeah this element here becomes milky Let me put some dark background or big light okay not that much okay and then as you can see it's not transparent that's very usual well not very usual but then I, I have seen it a few times on this lens and then this is a case of separation I'm going to make also a video to fix that this part I recovered from another 20 millimeters that I bought with the case just in the case just to make the video showing you how to separate the doublet and then reglue it again and an island and so on so but I swapped it because the back of this lens was good we have only fungus and then I recovered already that 20 millimeters for something else okay so this is for the disassembly of the optics extremely simple now we're going to I'm going to put things back again okay I put again the three screws as you can see now well, I'm going to keep it like this upside down so I don't get dust inside and then we're going to take care of this guy that we're going to further disassemble because the fungus is just behind this glass here so we need to remove this element and then to do so let me put this on a small base and then first thing you need to do is to come here and then you will find some glue so what we're going to do is to dissolve that glue that we can do with isopropyl alcohol that I have here and then what you need to do is just to put around as I am doing here and then you let it sit for a few seconds minutes and once it is done you come you try your luck and then you force a bit and then you will be able to unscrew it normally it works with isopropyl alcohol so if you don't manage the first time just repeat until you manage to unscrew it by hand this is very very simple and then also when you are going to unscrew I got here this kind of scratch As you, that you can see here which I guess it is the factory mark to indicate the right screwing position and then so when we're going to reassemble we will get the right position and then here as I am unscrewing you notice a rather interesting thing so this is the position and we have here and then as I start unscrewing I get the fungus which start to rotate with respect to each other so this means I have fungus on two glasses and then probably one in front of the other so and then I remove I reach the screw here I made a macro picture that you can see here to get an idea of the fungus and then here you go the other part of the fungus and then I also made a macro picture here so okay so we have reached now what we want so we can proceed with the cleaning I'm going to show you this one and then the other one 
is going to be exactly the same procedure with the sole difference that you will have to come a bit here on the inside and that's a bit more work but then the principle is the same nevertheless so I come here I prepare here my fungus cleaning solution which I prepare in this video that you see here and then I'm actually almost done with it so I will need to prepare some more and then I just drop it on the glass and then I come with my finger and I rub and then what it happens is that the fungus is gone so just let me clean that for you to see ok, we have still a very small trace we try a bit more solution here is gone so we're going to proceed with the standard cleaning so I'm going to use this lens cleaning fluid that you will also find on the description and then here I put a little bit and then I come with second microfiber cloth which is more new than this one that I'm having here and then I will do what I, what I call the second and last cleaning and then here you go in this part here is free from fungus now so what I'm going to do off the camera is to clean this other guy here procedure is going to be exactly the same and then we meet just in a few seconds for the reassembly of the lens so here I am I'm done with the cleaning I just cleaned this part which was a bit difficult and then the way to do a proper cleaning was to use lens cleaning paper which I have here and then here is my box of those and then to move the paper around I use a cotton swab that I have here and then I use the usual stuff my fungus removal solution and then here the lens cleaning fluid that I showed to you just before so now we're going to reassemble this so we start with the elements of interest these are the ones we just removed fungus from them and then just let me take a bit back, bit back these things so first thing we reassemble these guys together they're now super clean we're super happy we got rid of the fungus so first thing here and then I make sure I get the two marks from before to align and then we take the lens we are ready to assemble the back so I blow just to avoid dust coming into the lens and then here I just 
screw this guy here then I take my ring here in which I keep the screws then to finish we put the beauty ring that we also screw and then here you go we are done with this 20 millimeters we have removed from fungus from it and then let me tell you guys i got it really really cheap so this is all i wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?